Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I know, right? <laughs> hey, <laughs> two girls. We are so excited to be here with you today. You know me. I am Stacey from the True Girl offices in the wonderful state of Pennsylvania. What's up? Hey, Stacey. And I'm Casey. And I'm coming at you from my bedroom live in Ohio. And I miss you <laughs> all at the offices. I know. We're like so close to so far. We work together, but we can't really see you in person. So yeah. sad thing. But we are super excited to have you girls out here with us today because it is time for week three of Camp Staycation. So right now, the first three Camp Staycation Family Impact activities are live or over mytruegirl.com slash camp. And you can check them out at any time. But we'll be showing you guys some awesome activities you can do together each week with your family during Camp Staycation. And there'll be super fun things to help you connect and just hang out with each other. And each of these weekly activities will lead us up to our awesome campfire night, campfire, campfire night on July 24th, where we'll, where we'll worship together. <laughs> Casey, my words are not here today. No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that night, we're going to worship together, play games, and announce the winner of our Ooey Gooey Grand Prize. So we'll give you more info on how you can win that prize that's worth over $500 a bit later. But here's a hint. We're going to be randomly selecting finalists that invite friends. So go ahead and like this video and tag a friend in the comments to let them know about Camp Stay Haitian. Yes, girls, make sure you're letting people know because the bigger, the better. And this week we're toppling. I can't talk either. Wow. <laughs> Tackling the topic of competition. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know about you, but competition between family members, friends, coworkers, sports rivals, you name it, we're going to be tackling all of those. So we've made a list of games that you and your family can play together this week as a fun way to bring all of the lesson together. So I hope you guys like being outside because a lot of these fun games will take place in the great outdoors. Plus, who doesn't love a little family competition? Don't you, Stacy? <laughs> Now, you know I do. So I have an older brother and an older sister, and I am the baby. So you know I'm competitive. I always want to prove, like, I can keep up with you guys. I can do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I do feel you. But I'm actually the oldest, so it's always my job to set the bar incredibly high. So high that I could be the only one to reach it. <laughs> yes, girls, that was a tall joke. I'm actually five foot 11. <laughs> That was a good one. I'm sorry. That cracked me up more than I thought it would. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So today's activity involves learning how to have healthy competition. So maybe your family likes to do that by playing games like mine and Casey's, or maybe you're competitive academically. But we want to know. So hit the comments right now and tell us if you're competitive. What do you think they're going to say? Hmm. I feel like the stereotype is that boys are much more competitive than girls. Uh, but I think that like everybody generally usually is very competitive. So like, I don't know about, uh, well, I do know about you. You just told me you're pretty competitive. I would say I'm pretty competitive. Um, I'm trying to think of like all my other friends. I think when it comes down to it, everyone is pretty competitive naturally. That's my opinion. That's what I think. I think like I'm more so competitive like I want to win but if you like lose I feel really bad so I don't know mm. you know I'm, I'm like no I don't want anybody can we all just win so oh, I don't really know how competitive yes. I am yes maybe that's no. not really competitive. I feel like for me and I, this is something I'm not proud of but I'm competitive to the point where I'm like if I'm not gonna win that like basketball like I'm not good at basketball I'm like I'm not even gonna try to play so that's why when we had that big old hoop down is that <laughs> <laughs> the pickup games we've been playing big deal uh, for me to play those because I'm not good at basketball but it was so fun once you can get over your pride that comes with competitiveness uh you have a great time so you really do oh look okay so they're answering they said I'm sort of competitive I'm pretty competitive when I want to be mm -hmm. that's what Grace said okay what else did they say I'm not competitive but my mom is oh okay <laughs> Here, let's do one more. Let's see. Oh, somebody said, yeah, I'm competitive. Okay, so yes, I think it's safe to say that true girls are competitive. <laughs> <laughs> 
Awesome. But yeah, so guys, we are going to play some games today. Well, not actually today. We're going to show you some cool games that you can play with your family and just get outside and dive into week three of Camp Staycation. But first, we want to remind you guys to submit your prayer request because we want to pray for you. At the end of each show, you know we pray. So go ahead and drop those in the comments so that we can do that. But I'm so excited to show you this video. So I got to play a few games with Alex. You guys probably know Alex by now from the videos. He is um, one of the teachers for Born to be Brave. And we got to get together and play some backyard games. So we had a good time. It got a little competitive, but it was pretty fun for the most part. So check out this video. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Stacy here and... It's Alex. And Alex. Welcome to week three of Camp Staycation. Our activity today for our camp staycation is just getting out and playing some backyard games. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're going to be playing a few different games. Uh, let's we... get to it. Yeah, let's get to it. Yes. Alright guys, now it's time for a watermelon eating contest. Um, Stacy, I challenged her and she said no, and I quote, she didn't want to get too messy. But Dylan here, he has no problem with being too messy. You guys don't know Dylan, but um, he's been eating watermelon since you were, what, three, four? I think I started at the age of two, honestly. Two, two years old. Yeah. He's got about 17 years of watermelon experience eating behind him. So Dylan and I are going to be going head to head in this watermelon eating contest. No tools, no outside help. No phone a friend. All you have to do is open this thing with your bare hands, head, or uh, whatever part of your body you want to use, and eat it. Dylan, are you ready? No. And them's the rules. Them's the rules. So. Mm. Okay, ready? Okay. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> I'm not hungry in the slightest. Oh, yeah. Hey! By unanimous decision is Alexander Zubla! Hey, we had so much fun playing those games. Like, we got a little competitive, but for the most part, it was like us just playing around, having a good time, you know? <laughs> that was so much fun. And now I have the incredible craving for watermelon. <laughs> do you really? I really do. I was like, it looks so gross. <laughs> a little bit, but like, <laughs> also so satisfying. <laughs> 
No, seriously. So no, like, like I said, we had a good time together. Yeah, we got competitive, but for the most part, we had fun. And I guess that's what we want to remind you guys. Like, it's always fun to play games. It's good to get out and have a good time, but you always want to keep it light. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's just a game and we want to have the good spirits and the right heart when we're playing games. Because I know some people can get kind of crazy competitive and that's not what we want to do. But we wanted to actually take um, some time to show you other families playing games as well, just to get you hyped up. So we got a couple families together and shot some of that footage. So go ahead and check out this video. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan. I'm Aaron. This is Grayson. I'm Ruthie. I'm Brayden. I'm Marshall. I'm Kaden. And we are the Sims. We love getting outside and playing backyard games. Backyard games. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Yeah! <laughs> fun shooting that with them just like seeing how they interact and how they play the games it was a really really good time you were with were you with both of those families yes yeah oh that's was like, so fun see them. they were so kind they would be like your turn oh good job so and so oh it so was really really cool <laughs> that was like a perfect example of the level of competitiveness there should be within the family i feel like it's way more encouraging than it is i'm gonna beat you you know yeah for right. sure so we want to tell you guys, if you can't get outside, like obviously you didn't get outside while we were showing you that video, but you can always do that later on. And we want to make sure you participate in the family activities that we have. So it's going to be a good time for you guys, kind of connect you and just help you have some fun as you get some fresh air. Because I feel like we've all been locked in for a long time. So now we want to get you outside, get you playing some games, being competitive the right way. So <laughs> make sure you get out and do those. That's awesome. All right, girls, so we're going to move on to a little devotional time because there's always a lesson that the Lord wants to teach us 
in every activity we do. I totally believe that the Lord is in everything. And so here's a cool thing to know. The way that we interact with our families during these games actually show a lot about our hearts and our heart posture towards the Lord. So um, I found that when I am, let's say, playing a game of kickball with my friends or my family and I do poorly, I do a bad job. Um, and I'm sad that I lost, like genuinely sad and upset that somebody else won. Um, that really reflects on my relationship with God. And it's crazy how we can see how our relationship with the Lord also reflects in like everything that we do. So um, competition has some good purposes. You know, it encourages us to work hard at the things we value, to become stronger, um, more innovative, and it often increases the performance of everyone else involved. So have you ever played a game where like nobody is <laughs> is competitive at all? And it's just like totally dead and not fun. It's fun to have a little bit of competition, but it becomes toxic when it becomes the only only reason that we want to do some things. And girls, um, I speak for myself specifically, competition doesn't just have to be involved in games. Sometimes we can be competitive with the way that we look or the way that we treat friends. Like we want to be the most favorite friend. So we're willing to do this and this and this so we can be at the top of this person's list. And that's not how the Lord created it to be. Competition is healthy when we use it in the way that God created it to. So ask yourself these three questions. Um, this always helps me. Why am I competing? What is the reason that I'm competing? Um, what prize am I competing for? And how am I competing to win that prize? Okay, so let's take a look at 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 25. And it reads this. It says, do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it, that you may get the prize. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown but we for an imperishable crown. So let me explain what that means. Um, are we being competitive for the right things, for the godly things, or are we being competitive for a perishable crown? When I say perishable, that means something that does not last, something that will one day be gone because you know, our life, um, and this is a crazy thought to think of, but our life is like a fleeting vapor. That's what the Bible says. It goes so quick. So do we really want to waste our efforts and our competitive nature on something that isn't going to last? Or will we be competitive for the kingdom of Christ in a sense? Are we going to run the race of life for the crown that will last forever? And that is um, just having a relationship with Jesus and spreading the gospel. I would like to believe that I am competitive <laughs> for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that means that I'm going to keep pushing and keep fighting so that the, the name and the love and the word and the heart of Jesus will be made known. No matter what age you are, you can share the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. So don't think just because, oh, I'm nine years old. I don't know. I don't have all the words to say. Um, the Bible, the Bible will give you the words and the Holy Spirit who lives inside you once you accept Jesus Christ as your savior will give you the words. And so, um, we just want to give you guys a bunch of activities to do this week where you can practice godly competitiveness. I want to say competitivity, but I know that's not a word. <laughs> um, but yeah, just girls, we want you to practice um, healthy and godly competitiveness with your families. I think that's exactly where it starts. We practice in our homes and then we take it out into the world. So yes, amen. <laughs> awesome. Hey, that's a good word, Case. That's so, so true. Thank you. Um, now, girls, you know, we go into our time of prayer. I've looked at some prayer requests and it looks like uh, we definitely want to continue to pray for Kenzie. She had a terrible case of um, poison ivy. So I want to pray for her as well as just others that have experienced loss during this time um, with the virus and everything that's going on. So we want to lift them up and continue to just uh, pray for them. So let's do that right now. Um, God, I just come to you thanking you. I thank you for who you are and all you've done. I thank you for your faithfulness, for your love, and for your mercy that never fails us. And I thank you that you've provided true girl life for us to continue to connect with each other, Lord, and continue to grow in you. 
even during, during this time where we haven't been able to get out um, and get with each other physically, Lord, you still provided a way through technology, and I'm just so grateful for that. Um, I want to continue to lift my true girls up. We want to lift up Kenzie, Lord, um, who has a case of poison ivy and has been going through some other things as well, Lord. I just pray that you would continue to work in her life, Lord. Heal her from um, that poison ivy that she has and just continue to um, draw her closer to you, Lord. I know she's shared a lot with us and she's been learning a lot in you, so I'm just so grateful for her. And I pray that you would continue to do a great work in her life. I pray for her. Um, everyone who's experienced loss, Lord, I know I've seen a lot of true girls, girls post about um, just experiencing loss within their families and friend circles, Lord, with everything that's going on. So I just pray that you would comfort their hearts in a special way, Lord. I pray that they would trust in you and lean on you, knowing that you are in complete control of everything, Lord, even when it seems like you're not sometimes, you know that we all need to trust and rely on that fact that you are in complete control. Um, I just thank you that you have sustained us through this, Lord. I thank you for just all you've taught us and the ways you're growing us through this. And I pray that you will continue to help us to seek you with our whole heart. We love you so much. And we ask you to thank all these things in your name we pray. Amen. Okay. So, girls, you know we got some announcements for you. But before we do that, we have a surprise for you guys. I'm so surprised. I'm so excited about this surprise that I want to, like, drag it out. You know how I do, Casey. Casey knows. I'm yes, always like, so do good. you really want to know? Do you really, really want to know? But we've been talking about families and spending a lot of time together and just hanging out and um, just learning how to do things together and have fun together. And so we have a family here today. You may recognize them. I'm going to invite them on right now, our special guest. Can you guys hop on, Pitts Girls? They're so cute. How are you? Good. Hi. Good. Could you guys um, introduce yourself for us? Tell us your names and how old you are. I'm Katie, I'm 13. I'm Cameron, I'm 11. I'm Olivia and I'm 11. Yeah, they're twins. Oh, that's so cool. I have always wanted a twin. Casey, have you always wanted a twin or not really? Um, You know, I did when I was little, but then I was worried there'd be competition. <laughs> <sighs> so cute. Well, I'm so glad to have you guys here today. Let me just tell our viewers a little bit about you. So the Pitts girls are pretty awesome writers, something that's really cool about them. They like to write together and hang out that way. And their family has a ministry called for girls like you that produces magazines and other content for, guess who, girls just like you viewers. So <laughs> we think it's so cool that they do that. And they have actually together um, written a book called Ansley's Big Bake Off. So we wanted to have them on today to tell us a little bit about that book. And I'm going to ask them a few questions, but We'd also like to give you girls an opportunity to ask them a few questions. So go ahead and put some of your um, questions in our comment section, and we'll pull those for a short Q&A time if you have any questions about their writing and stuff. So, Caitlin, can you tell us briefly what is the story about Angela's Big Bake Off? So basically, it's called the Daniel Sisters series. So it's based on me, Cameron, and Olivia's lives. But the first book is based off of me. And so basically, we lost our mom. And Ansley lost her mom in the book. And it's about, like, friendship. And she loves doing gymnastics and baking. And um, it talks about trusting God and praying to God a lot. think she's frozen that's amazing <laughs> that's incredible um wow how long did it take you to write that book nine months nine, nine to nine a year nine months to a year wow yeah. oh that's incredible okay um i have so many questions this is great uh what made you want to tell this particular story um sure so basically we just want to encourage girls um and we do that through writing and stuff because our mom is a writer. And so we just like to encourage girls and stuff. So, yeah. And there's oh, a lot of people who go through stuff like us and we want to show them that God is always with them and that they can trust him and not have to worry. Wow. Oh, that's such a blessing. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. Can you hear me now? I think I lost my connection. Yeah, you're good. You. You're good, Stacey. Okay. Sorry, We're on guys. question number questions. four. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I missed out of answers. Well, can I ask them the last one I was going to ask them? <laughs> you can ask them four, because we haven't asked four yet. Oh, okay, okay. So, 
have you guys like always liked storytelling? So the fact that you write is really cool to me. Um, I think a lot of our viewers want to write. And I want to know, has that always been something you wanted to do? Like, have you always been into telling stories and stuff like that and writing short stories and things? Yes, um, we have actually, like we used to love writing like little short stories. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, like in elementary, I would always write stories. And then I kind of grew out of it in middle school. But like this really brought me back to like writing and stuff. Oh, cool. Well, we want to take a Q&A time. So Case, let's check and see if the girls have been asking any questions because we want to give them a chance. To sure. Ask you things. I know we've heard before that a lot of our girls keep journals and they like writing stories and stuff. So I was really happy to have you guys on to kind of give them some tips or kind of encourage them to keep moving forward in that. So give me one second. Oh, someone said they have written a book. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I have a question for them. Um, this is from Family Lopez is the name of them. <laughs> but they ask, um, how do you deal with your fears? Um, yeah. Okay, so. Um, you want to answer this? Sure. So whenever I'm scared of something, I normally just pray and ask God to help me, um, whatever it is I'm scared of. But also talking to, like, your parents and your family mm -hmm. about Oh, that's very wise. That's really good. Really I think good. sometimes, I don't know if you can relate to this, girls, but sometimes, like, when we're afraid, um, even me, I, I will pray about something, and if I don't get an immediate answer from God, I start to get even more afraid and just kind of go into myself, but it's a really good idea to go and talk to someone about it um, that you trust and that you believe the Lord has given authority in your life. That's really good. Thank you. Really cool. You see another one, Kate? Um... What books do you girls like reading? <laughs> well, right now I'm reading a book called Olive's, Olive's Ocean, is it? Yes. Yeah, Olive's Ocean. But I also loved the Nancy Drew series. Like, that was my favorite. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm also reading Olive's Ocean for school. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's Super so great. Cool. Well, I want to thank you girls for coming on and just um, encouraging other girls. That's one thing I wanted to ask you too. If you could give one piece of advice or encouragement to our readers that are thinking about writing or that like writing, um, what would you tell them? What's something, a tip or encouragement you would give? Um, just to never give up because it doesn't matter how old you are and like, or how young you are. Like just never give up and trust in God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, just like I was going to say what Katie said, never give up. And like, it may be hard sometimes, but just like, keep going. Yeah, just always trust God and know that there are people around you to help you. So. Hey, quick question. How old are you girls? I'm 13. I'm 11. I'm 11. Wow. Praise the Lord. I hope I hope you girls see how much the Lord is just on you, all over you. Yeah. That's amazing. Praise Definitely. the Lord. Thank you That's guys crazy. so much. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Oh, go ahead. Oh, we were just oh, saying we were thank, thank you. you. <laughs> um, she's like, ma'am, we didn't say anything else. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming on. It was a joy to have you. Um, I'm going to tell our viewers a little bit about your book giveaway that we're going to do. But I just want to thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So, yes. see oh, we love you. We really love you. <laughs> awesome. So viewers, let me tell you. Um, the Pitts girls are so kind. They have given us three copies of Ansley's Big Bake Off that we can give away to you guys. And I want to tell you how you can win one of those copies. Um, if you like today's video and tag a friend, that's going to enter you in the raffle that's going to allow you to win one of those. So we really want you to get one of those books. Um, go ahead and buy that book if you're looking for some summer reading material because it's a really good one. And you see, um, I love when we have people on and we can see the heart behind what they're creating. Yeah. So these girls are just covered in Jesus. They're um, living for Jesus and doing things for Jesus. So go ahead and buy that book. And another cool thing they did, which I think is awesome, they provided us with this coupon code for 20% off for all of our viewers. Do we have that? Um, we should have a slide of it that's going to show you that code. There it is. There we go. Yeah, so they've created this cool little code. For you guys, True Girl 625. And if you go ahead and use that 
in their bookstore, you're going to get 20% off anything store wide that you want to buy. So go ahead and check them out. It's a wonderful ministry, great content for you guys, cool magazines with fun little quizzes and articles and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you show them some love. But we also have some other announcements for you guys. Case, can you tell them about well, they already know about Camp Staycation, but we want to keep it fresh on your mind so you don't miss anything about it. Yes, I got you. So girls, you know that many of the camps this summer are basically just shut down. And a lot of you are saying you're just really going to miss camp and um, really missing the activities. And that's why we're doing what we are doing right now. True Girl and Born to be Brave are partnering to provide six weekly camp staycation family connection experiences. And today was one of them. So these will be put on our Camp Staycation page with an easy to follow lesson plan. And today we're leasing activity number three, outdoor activities, because what's camp without playing some games and getting a little competitive in Jesus name, am I right? So you can make one using our instructions and get this. Here's the cool part. It's an object lesson. So your mom and dad can take you through some of these really cool Bible truths um, through awesome conversations using our videos as you're having fun. So, um, and yes, I did say dads because tonight we are partnering with Born to be Brave and um, they're going on live tonight at 7.30 on Born to be Brave TV. So make sure if you have a father or a son or a boy dog (laughs) that you guys huddle around the family television and uh, watch Born to be Brave at 7.30 tonight. It's gonna be really, really fun. Uh, We also have this big event coming. So this is at the very end of Camp Staycation. We want to have a Camp Staycation campfire night to bring all of our families together for a night of worship, which we love, and reflection on just all of God's faithfulness in these dark times. So next week, we'll tell you um, who our special guests are for that event. Wait, no. Yeah, next week? Yeah, okay. Um, Mm -hmm. Because I hear we're going to have some pretty big news. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah, yeah. You already know. And here's the deal. So the goal with Camp Staycation is we want to put your mom and dad in the driver's seat of some summer spiritual growth experiences and encourage family connection as a replacement for the things we've lost as far as not having summer camps or VBS programs to go to this summer. So we want you to keep up to date with us until July 24th for our big event, the Camp Staycation Campfire. It's going to be pretty cool. I am a part of planning that. I'm seeing some behind the scenes stuff. You guys are going to love it. So just trust me and be there. Um, And until then, we're going to introduce those activities weekly that go hand in hand, just like the backyard games video that you saw today. And we also want to tell you that we'll be selecting um, two finalists each week to be entered for a chance to win the Camp Staycation Ooey Gooey Grand Prize. So I mentioned this earlier, but I just wanted to tell you how you can enter to win that. So we're going to select one person from um, the group of people that likes this video and tags a friend, and also one person from the group of people that shares um, a picture of themselves participating in that week's camp vacation activity. So you're going to want to do that, and we're going to pull two finalists each week. And I want to tell you guys today who our finalists from last week are. Drum roll, please. Thank you, Casey. (laughs) So our finalists are Brittany Sanchez. And, oh, one second, please, please hold. (laughs) And Tashina Horn. So Brittany Sanchez and Tashina Horn. Congratulations, ladies. You have been selected as our finalist from last week, and you will now be entered for a chance to win the Ooey Gooey Graham Prize. Yes. Oh, that's so exciting. Congratulations, you guys. I hope you're watching right now and rejoicing for the possible s'mores that you will be consuming. So officially, this is the end of our True Girl Live today. We don't have any more cheesy reading because Gladys Aylward has finished her adventures. Um, so we love you girls, and we're so thankful you stuck around with us today just to learn more about the Lord, um, to meet some new friends, and just to hang out with us. We love you so much, and we hope the rest of your week is filled with godly competitiveness. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.